Drummers of the World, Jim from Dixon Drums here. While I'm at home, I'm spending a lot of time in my workbench taking a really close look at some of our new snare models. But coming from the drum shop world, it made me remember that there's a common problem that drummers have when they're pulling out their old kits, and it's, a, it's as simple as an adjustment on your snare drum strainer. So, what is a snare drum strainer? It's this little guy on the side. You have a throw off on one side with the adjustment, and you have a butt plate on the other. Yours may look a little different, but they all function the same. This drum has wood hoops. Yours might be metal, not a problem. The tabs pass through, all in the same. So, I'm gonna give you a little example. What happens is, if you're playing your drum and the wires are too loose, and you can't tension, you can't draw any more tension from that throw off, that means it's out of adjustment. You gotta have a range of adjustment, both tight and loose, to get a full, get the perfect sound from your drum. Now remember, there are no rules when it comes to these sort of adjustments, but this is my remedy. So, let's get started. Flip the drum over and loosen up the clamps on both sides. Mine has drum key head screws. Yours might be Phillips screws or flat heads, same thing. Flip it over, we're gonna unclamp the butt plate side. Loosen it up. Okay, so I'm gonna grab both tabs. As you see, the wires pass through both clamps on each side. So the first thing to do is to make sure that the end of the tab and the shell, there's equidistance. So you want the snares to be right in the middle of the drum. So step number two, let's turn to the throw off side. Now, to make sure that you have a, uh, enough tension range is what I do is I just loosen it up all the way until it disengages, okay? Re-engage and turn it back about six to eight turns so you at least know you're at the lowest point and you'll have all that room to tension once you're finished. So, throw off is set, wires, are in the center of the drum. Just pull on the tabs to, to create some tension. Move around to your butt plate and reset the clamp. Not too tight. Drummers have a tendency to over tighten and strip things. So we're gonna slide back around. Again, just pull on the tab. Make sure your lever is up to create, generate a little bit of tension and then we're gonna clamp it again. There we go. Now, set it up on its side. So, it's gonna be a little loose. So, go ahead and tighten it up to where it's finger tight. We're getting real close and we still have plenty of room on, that, on those threads. You probably have three quarters of that thread to make adjustments, tension adjustments uh, going on. So, real quick, the way to adjust is a quick tap test in the middle, you want good sensitivity, but you also need sensitivity out on the edge. If you get sensitivity in the middle, but a tom sound on the outside, it's too tight. You're better to be too loose, and then tension up, then too tight. That'll dry out the drum, it'll make it feel real choked. So, loose snares are the key. Real quick, a couple little tips as far as tuning goes. When you have a single ply head like this one, tighter is better. Medium to tight gives you that dynamic, that great stick control, and a nice crack and snare drum. The bottom head will always be a little tighter than that top head. But remember, again, no rules. You can play your drum with a chainsaw if you want. No rules. But this is my take on this common problem. Let me know what you think. I'll personally watch the comments on this post. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll answer them personally. Thanks a lot.